Welcome back to Paranormasite. Last time we opened up a new chapter, uh, Darkness, with uh, some mysterious new character. Hmm, it's my old friend. Yeah, well we really don't have everything we need to solve this yet. We need to do a few more things. We need to exhaust uh, Tetsuo's place, uh, his, his run through, and we need to get back to Yako's as well. Mm. So, standing by. At the Shiraishi home, Tsutsumi and Aryo learned the truth about many things, including the death of Kankichiro Iwai. They hurried to the high school after learning that Michio Shiraishi knew the whereabouts of Nejima's hideout. Let's go. This should be good. I've got thoughts in my brain. I'm piecing it together, mate. Are you? Yeah! Are you? I think I got it. Are you? Hello, Komagata High. It, oh, you're here. Get out of here. Boss! I just talked to, to the Sumida police. Oh, what now? Who else died? They found an abandoned van in the Chiba Mountains that looks like it had been in an accident. They couldn't lift any fingerprints from it, but they found blood splatters on the front. I think we found Michio Shiraishi's killer vehicle! And guess uh -huh. what? The blood is a perfect match for Michio! Just starting out and we got some evidence! We found a fucking lead! Oh! So it must be the van that hit Michio. Yeah, Tsutsumi, I bet you can do like, you know, oh ho, hada hada. Hada hada. <laughs> you got it. It's all thanks to uh, to Yoshimi that we were able to find that out. The license plate had been removed, though, and they even uh, scraped off the vehicle identification number. Oh, it'll take a while to identify the owner. Wow, they were thorough. Now that uh, now they're trying to figure out if if the van was sighted anywhere between the scene of the crime and where it was dumped. Got it. Thanks for the report. He still doesn't look tired after all this running around. Wish I still had all that stamina. It's adrenaline shots, boss. God! I am ready! By the way, boy. I do know I make my face do this. I just want to kiss him when he does that. <laughs> They're just so supple. We've confirmed to meet your diet of Evervahikyo Collision. But are we sure that it was really an accident? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The damage done by the collision indicates that the driver was traveling at a considerable speed, but there were no brake marks to be found. Exactly. Which suggests they may have been intentionally targeting Michio. Then, what was the motive, you think? Who would have a reason to kill Michio? Well... First person that comes to mind is Kankichiro Iwai. After all, she knew about his crimes. But then Iwai was supposedly able to control Michio by intimidation alone. There's also that teacher who was taking advantage of Michio, Kohei Jonochi. But to say he killed her to stop people from finding out that he was blackmailing her doesn't seem likely somehow. You're right. I mean, why kill him when you can blackmail him? Exactly. Though both of them have fallen prey to her curse. That's true. In that case, it's quite possible she'll also decide to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible. Ooh. She may have already done it last night, just like with EY. Is there anything else that could have served as a motive? I mean, revenge is a pretty good one. That talisman, maybe? The one Yoshimi was looking for? Oh, do you think someone wanted to take it from her? Well, the talisman wasn't found on her, rem on her remains, nor in her house. Oh, is this in a hidden room? Is she like too drastic of a bit? You want to go for a little towel thing? Hey, Todd, I taught a putty tag. <laughs> I did, I did. Uh, where did you see this pussycat? <laughs> well, the tomcat was found in the alley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, then, uh, then in uh, the end, uh, it might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Oh, that's yeah. so sad. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, anything else? Either way, what we need now is a testimony for me to wall herself. With a bit of luck, we may be able to ask her what happened during the crash ourselves. Yeah, I can't wrap my head around that particular development. I still have my doubts that it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this to let Mio me and Yako turn up. I'd rather have him come sooner rather than later, but... I guess we'll just have to wait. Shall we head inside? All right, then. Oh, <laughs> hey, Ariel. I wanted to ask you something. Aye, aye, boss. 
Jeez, you're an eager beaver. I haven't even said what it is yet. Oh, right. Well, what is it then? Can't remember what you had for dinner last night? Old Look, man. Looks like that agent over there is having some trouble with his pen. So if you got a spare, go lend it to him. And for the record, I had Katsuda last night. No need to worry about me going senile just yet. Oh! Uh, I know I look like a genius, but I didn't think I came across as the type to carry spare pens you on got, my person. You got three right there. I've got, Shut I've up! got one right here. I mean, Honestly, you gave me these ones. They're still nice pens. I'm, I'm a man who loves his pens. I, I, like, I like pens. Stationary and pens just kind of make me happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> you a genius? You're dreaming. <laughs> but if his pen just stopped working, he can get it going again with a bit of nail polish remover. Nail polish remover? Yeah, you know, you know the remove nail polish. Never you did before. Well, I mean, you know, I probably should get a new coat on, but need a new mani pen. Do I look like I want to? Don't make me sound crazy for not having used the stuff. I doubt you have either. <laughs> oh, no, I've used it all right. Did you know that it can remove oil-based ink stains? Which is also why it can be used to fix old, dried-up pen nibs. Whatever's in there that removes the ink also doubles as a way to unclog pens. Huh, good to know. Still, would've, still wouldn't call you a genius, but uh, it's, it's something. You gotta make sure the remover doesn't mix with the ink, though, or it'll ruin it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Not to worry. I don't have nail polish remover on me right now, anyway. Oh, no problem, then. That doesn't fix anything! <sighs> Long story short, I don't have a spare pen. Jeez. Alright. I'll let him know. That is very Ace Attorney writing. Something that could have been said that needed 20 extra lines of dialogue just to say. But I thought we were going to get away from me at the school! But what if I told you that might have been one of the most important conversations we could have had. I figured, yeah. It had the green text. I was like, oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not that cryptic, but it's still cryptic. It's nice that we got permission to use the school as our base of operations. Principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they were convinced that it'd help the investigation. Dealing with all this must have been a real headache for those guys. I should thank him again later. <laughs> nah. Let's get out of here. <laughs> all right, let's go wait inside the school. I'm sure they'll be here any moment. And so, any moment later... Chapter over. Yeah, I figured we'd have to come back later. What? Ooh. I'll see you again. This should be interesting. Yaku Sakazaki is what, who we're going to be following next for a while. The record of fates Yin Scroll may contain a way to put a stop to the curse. Yako and Mio head back to Komagata High School to share their this information with Sutsumi. <laughs> oh, split personality disorder is a Here bitch. Here we go. Welcome back to Komagata High School. Welcome back to Komagata High School. Ain't that interesting? The record of fates in scroll, huh? Well done, you two. That's some good info you got from that teacher. Thank you. Good job, boss. Operation Schoolgirl was a success. Mario, stop making things sound weird. Schoolgirl, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, let's share what we found at Michio Shiraishi's house. Yes, please. Yes! <laughs> that that guy died! A man named Iwai kidnapped his sacrifices for black magic? And Michio helped with the kidnapping? Nani? And Mr. Janetsu used that to blackmail her? Hmm. Alright, let's, let's ah, read. Let's get, uh, oh, let's hey. get to some talking. <laughs> Based on the report and looking at the circumstances surrounding the death of Jonochi, Iwai, if Michio Shiraishi did it, it would make sense. Furthermore, there are signs that Michio Shiraishi wanted someone to notice. Huh? Really? The ribbon that was left at the scene of Kohei's death is proof of that. Mio, I'm guessing you knew that already? Uh, yes, ever since this morning. There's one piece of information I need. 
I think we're near her limit. Uh-huh. Huh? Yup, 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 yup. I think we're near her limit. Huh? So, if we get this Record of Fate's Yin Scroll, we'll be able to dispel the curse? Yes. The source of this curse is a tragic event called the Hanjo Incident that dates back to the Edo period. An onmyoji named Seimen Tsuchimikado is said to have recorded a way to deal with the curse. So I think there may be a way to dispel the curse. Right. I'll leave how to approach it to this to you, Mio. I'll check with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well, but please make finding the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll your top priority. Understood. <gasps> but how do we go about looking for it? It's possible the descendants of Seiman have inherited it, but I don't think they're aware of its existence. It'd be nice if we had a clan crest or something to go off of. Maybe we'll have to ask Paranormal Affairs. <laughs> and then some Jagoffs using it as toilet paper. Oh, it smells like curse dispelment. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I spilled some, some, some uh, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Who needs know. bounty when you have the Fatesian scroll? <laughs> oh, God. That reminds me. Mio, what's the worst of black magic used by Eli and Nijima Ray just to have a toy shot? Huh? Why are you asking me? I'm sure. Uh oh. Boss says that you know about this sort of thing. Uh, d do you know? <laughs> um, well, I mean, I have some knowledge, but. How strange. I don't think I've ever told anyone that. It's okay, Mio. No one's judging you. Right, but it still feels a little weird. You know, we're recording these very in advance, and I wonder if this joke has run its course or if it's still funny. Oh, after all this. Yeah, well, uh, it's so funny. <laughs> what's your opinion on it? I'm so unfamiliar with what your black magic. <laughs> um, if I could have a look at their grimoire, I could be sure, but it's also just, it's just just perfectly aligns with everybody's response to everything after that happens. Based on their methods, I say they imitated black magic popular around 300 years ago, and and they go right back to exactly Oregon right after that. It's just like, it's, oh yeah, drop the facade. It's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> it was advertised as magic anyone could use, and was employed as camouflage to evade witch hunters. Ooh. It's notable because they purposefully required living sacrifices to make it difficult to disprove its authenticity. Wow, you know so much! I'm impressed! It totally matches with the vibe you've got going on! What do you mean by that? Don't worry! Have some confidence! D um, right. Thanks, I guess? Western black magic. If that black magic is just an imitation, then we probably don't have to worry about it. I'm just glad things aren't getting even more confusing than they already are! You want confusing? I've got confusing for you. What is the sound of a doghouse that's been dipped in oil uh, and does stand up on Thursdays uh, in Topeka, Kansas? I, I boss. While what? wearing another doghouse shaped like the number seven, having a parabola full of spaghetti. You just see Eric go. <laughs> Explodes. <laughs> oh dear, you've reached a bad ending. Would you like to rewind? And <laughs> you made your, your assistant's head explode. <laughs> All right, about the mastermind, I had an idea. Huh? What is it? This is about the chairwoman of Hihaku's soaps, isn't it? You mentioned her when you were telling us about the Iwai person. Yep. Whether the goal is to restore youth or to resurrect someone, she's got her hands all over this. Gotcha. She has money, too. It would also match Hideki Araishi's account of a woman's voice. A youthful bird news lady with supernatural powers? A classic setting! If only we could confirm that po those powers of hers were actually real. Hmm... We'll need to keep an eye on her. I'll tell HQ to look into her. And now... Now then, if we're nearing the limit, I'll stop beating around the bush. Time to tell it to you straight. Yako Sakazaki. Yes. Take out your curse stone and give it to Mio. Oh, my curse stone? It's just been in my pocket all this time. Thanks. I'm just going to borrow it for a second. Well? Yes. There are soul dregs inside, after all. I knew it! 
What? How did this happen? I didn't do anything, I swear! You have to believe me! It's okay. We know. Yako, calm down and listen to what I'm about to tell you. We're being possessed! There's no mistake that Jinochi and Iwai were killed by that cursed stone. But the one who committed the act is... <gasps> the ghost of Michio Shiraishi that is inside you, Yako Sakazaki. Yes! What?! Inside me? What?! In your eye! Right here! <laughs> what? what do you mean?! It's okay, Yako. Please calm down and listen. You've been possessed, Yako. Hmm. By Michio's ghost. What?! It probably happened when you were offering flowers at the site of the accident. Filled with regret, her lingering ghost reacted to the presence of her old friend and entered you, Yako. No way! You mean Michio's ghost is inside me?! I've explained this once before, but just because you've been possessed doesn't mean that you lose control of yourself. Normally, the mind will reject such attempts and it'll do nothing more than affect one's mood or energy levels. But Michio had powerful spirit sense to begin with. And because she was your friend, your mind was open to accepting Michio's spirit. So, for those reasons, your mind's merged without any issue. Hmm. It's going to be difficult to separate her from you at this point. Which also means it'll be difficult to guide her spirit to the afterlife. No way! We've merged? Me and Michio's minds are... But I don't feel different at all. I mean, I'm me, I think. That's because after she merged with you, Michio started to believe she was you as well. As a ghost possessing you, she's not fully conscious, only really, only really a jumble of vague memories. Still, there are traces of her consciousness and memories as Michio Shiraishi. You have been acting a little different from usual. You would also sometimes react when coming into contact with things with a powerful influence. Really? That having been said, if we don't have a proper understanding of the regrets Michio Shiraishi had when she died and why, it would be difficult to separate her from you. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. If I carelessly provoked her ghost, it could have risked causing her to dig even deeper into your mind. Oh no. When we mentioned limits earlier, we meant that by letting things proceed like this. There's a possibility that you will join completely, making it impossible to separate her ghost from you. If that happens, you'll never be able to tell which of your thoughts belong to her and which belong to you. Wow, this was actually all foreshadowed. It was great. What? That's so scary! You mean I won't be myself anymore? Oh, but if it's Michio, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad! Oh, I don't know. What should I do? But... Uh, but... It was actually Michio who used the curse stone while I was unaware, wasn't it? Doesn't that mean her ghost has already taken over my body? Uh-huh. Well, about that. Starting to think those dialogue boxes aren't actually our thoughts. I think that's probably the effect of the curse amplifying murderous impulses and the influence of the Feast of Shadows. While you were sleeping, the, by, uh, the ghost's powers were boosted and strengthened by the feast. Michio's consciousness surfaced and took control of your body. Sleepwalking! That's... Then that means... I was the one who killed them. I cursed them both. Ah! <laughs> oh, man! Yako, no, you are being controlled. Right, Inspector? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's likely she'd be recognized as not being responsible for the crime due to, due to the possession. It's not something you can control. No need to worry about that. No, you're wrong! I wanted to kill them, too! Those feelings must have come out! It's not only Michio's fault! I mean, when I learned that Michio did commit suicide, I wished that all the cruel adults around me would just die! I had the current stone with me, and I wanted to get revenge for Michio if the chance came! That's how I felt! Yako... Because... Because... 
He too wasn't able to escape her terrible situation! It was so hard, it wouldn't be unusual for someone to take their own life! And I... I had this curse stone. I made Michio get revenge all by herself. Michio tried so hard to keep on living in silence, and I treated those feelings like they were worthless. I should have done it myself right away. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Michio. Wow, that's some imagery right there. I like it. It's like she's there. <laughs> What's that fucking one with the screaming cowboy in the shadows? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I know that one. Whatever it's called. I didn't keep up on that That's one. That's why. Ah, I killed them. <clears throat> Yako. There you are. Oh, hi, Michio. What is up with you? You had me worried sick since you haven't been coming to school lately. It feels like it's been forever. I'm glad you seem to be doing good. Yeah, sorry. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you why. I've always regretted it. Oh, come on. You're acting like we aren't buds. You tell me if anyone's making you sad and I'll take care of them. Thanks, Yako. Actually, I'm here because there's something I wanted to tell you. Really? What's the matter? You can tell me anything. Well, the truth is, I did something unforgivable to an innocent man. Saying that I was forced to and didn't have a choice doesn't undo it. I'm sorry. I feel so guilty. What? I've done so much I can't take back. All because I was weak. There's no escaping the hell that I've created for myself. I couldn't handle it anymore. I started thinking about killing him and dying myself. Neither of us deserve to live in this world. What? But something went wrong, and that's why I die with regrets. Thanks to you, I finished what I wanted to do. Thank you, and I'm sorry for dragging you into this. What? Wait, you don't need to apologize. It's only now that I realize. And I know how selfish it is. But I hope you remember the time we spent together as friends. And how we were able to be together at the end. Please, don't forget me. Huh? No! Meet you, wait! <laughs> uh, what the hell is amnesia? Hello. <laughs> it's, it's been two weeks. Everyone's dead now. Huh? You're awake. Do you feel okay? I'm sorry I had to spring that all on you, Yako. What? Is this... Are, are we in a classroom? Huh? Was I dreaming? I'm sorry to rush this along while you're still gathering your feelings, but... We needed to hear what Michio Shiraishi has to say. Now. Right. And so, after considering what to do, it, it is true that Michio's consciousness has mixed with yours. But if I summoned her ghost, we may be able to establish some con some communication. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Back to the spirit board again! So you thought to use the spirit board again. Yep. I have a hunch. I think the spirit we called last time may have actually been Michio herself. Really? You think? And that her spirit had been close to you ever since then. Then let's do it. I think we should. And I want to hear from her. Very well. I have no idea if this will work during daytime, but let's give it a try. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Do you remember how to do it? Place your finger on the ten yen coin. Did, yeah, what, uh, ten yen. Get, ten yen. Boop. Finger. Right, like this. 
Good. Now do as I do. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Please tell us if you are there. Yes! No. It's here. Now, is it the spirit of Michio? Yako, would you ask the spirit? All right. Are, are you, you Michio Shiraishi? Oh, specter of the spirit board, are you the spirit of Michio Shiraishi? Yes. Yep. Hit the nail on the head on that one. It said yes! Don't be so sure. Sometimes spirits like to play tricks. Can you try asking it a question only Michio would know the answer to? Are you in my body? <laughs> a question only Michio would understand the answer to. Uh, let's see then. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. How much did the ribbon I bought with Michio cost? Four hundred dollars. <laughs> Four hundred and ninety dollars. Oh man! Yen, actually. Four hundred ninety yen. That's right. Like about five bucks. Yeah, if that. Around there, yeah. Well, it seems we have the right spirit. Nice. Okay. Can I have you ask her a question? Okay. What do you want me to ask her? I want you to ask about the location of Fumichika <sighs> Nejima's hideout and yes. the location of the talisman yes. as well. Yes. Okay. Where is Fumicheki Nejima's hiding hideout? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Specter of the Spirit Board. Please, rat on this person. Tell me the location of Fumicheki Nejima's hideout. S-N-I-T-C-H-E-S-G-E-T-S-T-I-T-C-H-E-S. -E -E uh, Shit. Crap. Ah. Uh... Mm, please, terrible things will happen if he isn't captured soon. I'm sure it's painful to try and remember, but you're the only one who can help us, Michio. Please. <laughs> it moved. If it was actually going that fast, nobody's able to read it. This is an address. She's giving us the address. Get an APB on 123 Fake Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> 456-Eat-My-Ass-Cops. <laughs> I don't think that's an actual street. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fake Street isn't real. Thank you, Michio. This is a fake avenue. <laughs> <laughs> and those numbers have four numbers. Try 1234 Fake Avenue. We got a hit, boss. Shit! <laughs> As some time passed. Okay, I have the address. Thank you. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she does have that face. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> All right, Ario, get a move on and check that address. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ in order to simultaneously house search a sweep in the area. He's just so ready and going. <laughs> yeah. I just hope the information is accurate. I know it is. Where, Where is, is the, the talisman? talisman? Mm -hmm. Oh, specter of the spirit board. U-P-Y-O-U-R-A-S-S? -S? Uh, do, do you hey! know what the talisman is? <laughs> yes. She, she does, does know. know. I wonder if we can find a way to narrow it down. I'll try asking. Can you narrow it down? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> do you carry around the talisman with you at all times? Yes, okay. So she did carry it with her. Hmm, then did you have it with you when you had your accident? Yes! Huh? She had it with her! But there was nothing resembling a talisman in the articles left behind at the scene. It got stolen by that prick! So that means someone took it with them and ran off with it before the scene was investigated? But who would do that? This would mean someone knew Michio had died before the police did. The first person to discover and report it was the caretaker of the apartment building next door. Oh. Should we check with them? Ooh. Let's see. The other possibility I can think of is... 
The perpetrator yep. of the hit and run. Yes! But it was a hit and run. Wouldn't they have run away? It's a hit and take and run. Uh, <laughs> it might have been possible that they came back, driven by fear or something else. Well, I mean, you, you, you hit, but the second you run, that makes it a hit and run. There can be a, an intervening time. Like, you can't just hit and then go. Well, I it's mean, like, it's... Oh, he waited five minutes before he ran off. It didn't count anymore. Now it's just vehicular manslaughter. Even if Sylvie is so, it didn't report it and went toward her belongings. But to always take the talisman, it's hard to believe. Unless they were after the talisman from the very beginning. How likely is that? If the talisman really is so special. We very well mentioned the same thing, but the one someone over to take something from you? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible they just picked up the talisman after hitting Ooh, her for no particular reason. I have a theory. Ooh. Either way, if it really was a hit and run, then I hope they get caught. It's possible she remembers something after seeing that picture of the car. Then, shall we try asking? I'll try. <sighs> Who, Who was responsible, responsible for, for the hit, hit and run? run? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board? Who done hit ran you over exactly. and killed you? Who done hit you? <laughs> yes. She says she knows. That's a relief. If she hadn't known... I mean... That would have made this a lot harder. S salt in the wound. Insult to injury. Ow. Huh? In order for Michio's spirit to find peace, we need as much detailed information about what happened as possible. We can't send her off to the afterlife if we don't know what happened when she died. This isn't like a forced ex exorcism. Aw, oh, but I hate exercise. So that's what it'll take. Alright, I'll try asking. Right. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, who was the one who ran you over? You! Why? I hope she knows the name. Oh, you. I wonder. Here it oh. comes! Oh, no! M! A! M! I! G! A! K! Namagaki! Got Namagaku, actually. Uh, oh. Namagaki. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you mean Yutaro Namagaki? You two know him? <laughs> we talked with him after we left the cafe. He used to be a curse bearer, right? Ah, I see. So that's why Yako had that reaction when, he, when she saw him. Yep. What? Come to think of it, that guy said he wanted to talk about Michio. What? what? The hell is he planning without his curse stone? Oh, listen to that music. He said he would be, he'd be waiting near Ryogoku Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> the girls have pipes! Hello! <laughs> I got it, I'll join you there yeah, once exactly. we're done. exactly, <laughs> yes! He's the bastard who killed Michio. Hmm. Yako. This should be enough information. Say goodbye. We can release Michio from her suffering now. Let's do it. Mm, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yep. Time to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. That's what you always do. They didn't do it last time. They didn't say goodbye, and that's how she got possessed. I thought we did. Well, they didn't say goodbye enough, because oh, we got okay. interrupted by the curse lady. Oh, that's like, true. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. So you? No, Michio. Deuces. Thank you. You helped us. You know, I'm sorry I didn't know about it all. Your family, the kidnapping, Mr. Jonochi. I'm so sorry. It must have been so hard. Not that I could understand, but I'm sure it was so hard. I mean, of course you would want revenge. I wanted it too. We've all done things that we wish we could take back. But I'm glad that I at least know the truth. Yako. There's so much I want to say, but that's enough. Let me just ask you one last thing. Someday. Can we hang out again? No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. 
You mean it? Okay, it's a promise. My best friend is a ghost girl, yeah! Have you asked everything you wanted? Yeah. What do you use in your hair? <laughs> Look, oh, it was always so soft and shiny. Okay, I'm going to guide me to your spirit now. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Michio, with this, I'll finally be able to free you. Hey, Yako? Yeah? I never accepted the idea that Michio took her own life. I'm glad you never stopped trying to find the truth. Yeah. You're right. Even though I didn't realize just how hard things were for her. I to say lines for a long time. It's a spiritual possession, yeah. Mio? Sorry. It's just Michio. Has possessed me. She was taking advantage of by so many of the adults around her. She put up with so much. I should have tried to talk with her more. I know how you feel. Thanks, Mio. Now exercise me. It hurts thinking about all the things I could have done. Could you hurry up? Come on. You see, I was waiting for the. <laughs> Chief Inspector, come on! <laughs> Why did this have to happen to someone so kind and hardworking? Feels like she was your fader to the very end. It's just too cruel. But even then, she didn't even tell me about this stuff. And she let herself worry more about revenge than living. I'm mad at her for that. Sure, sure, I know something was wrong, but come on. Oh, what was she thinking? Seriously, I mean, seriously! Am I really that unreliable? Of course I'd help you get your revenge, you idiot! I don't care how much you had changed or whatever, I just wanted you to live! Yako... <laughs> I'll take responsibility for what's been done. But one day, if we meet on the other side... I'm gonna have to give her a good punch. Then I'll tell her she's the real fool's possession or something, I'll have plenty of time to work on it. Then we'll hang out like always! Well, that's the death penalty, so you'll have your chance sooner than you think. Oh... Sounds like fun. The death penalty sounds like fun? No, 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 but no. It, uh, what they're gonna do up in Nether or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm sending her off, okay? Oh, wait! Mm -hmm. We forgot to say goodbye. <laughs> you dare interrupt me! Don't forget to say goodbye. That's badass. Yeah. <laughs> what? Look, the coin. It moved to no all on its own. You're right. When did it do that? It seems like she still has something keeping her here. Yako, do you have any idea about what Michio wants? Hmm, me? Oh! Please, don't, don't forget me. me. I think she told me that she didn't want me to forget. I see. Then... Michio? If you can hear my voice, let your feelings that you won't ever forget her be known. Show it through an action. What?! Do something that shows you won't <gasps> forget. Take a screenshot! Oh, no. Oh. I mean, this is also on iPad and PC, I mean, you can do screenshots. Yeah, you can do screenshots on those. What you're really supposed to do. Oh, save! Yeah, save in a different slot! Yeah! That's so cool! I love that fourth wall we'll break stuff. always remember. Yes! We'll always remember. That's such big brain! Thank you. Though, I don't really want you to punch me. <laughs> So live a long life, okay? I can wait. I'll see you, see you later. Aww. Ow, 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 it hurts! Ah! Your soul is damned. Uh, oh. All right. Let's go take him down. <laughs> now, time to put a, time to put yeah. a pin in it. <laughs> oh, he is so screwed. Yako, are you feeling alright? 
Yeah, I'm fine. We made a safety save. I feel a lot better. I got the world where you feel like what we show for you. Is that the other part of me that I had no control of or something? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think you're back to your normal self Ooh. now. I'm glad there weren't any problems. Ooh -wee. I wonder if Michio was able to find peace. I know she did. You don't have to worry about that. Smash cut to her screaming in <laughs> hell. Ah! I think we need to do one more thing before she finds peace. Find the nerd. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. It seems that her regret was not being able to tell you what was going on and growing apart from you. Well, I guess I can forgive her for that. But there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah, I wonder what this feeling is. It's like there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Uh, maybe an after effect. Or maybe just making sure you actually fulfill the promise. Maybe because you gave your stone to Chief Inspector Satsumi. Doubt it. Having a crystal <laughs> shouldn't have any effect on your body. But dealing with four curses sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. My legs are locking up. Yeah. Someone's, <laughs> so, someone's like a completely different person all of a sudden. But are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you when this is all over. You might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. It's fine. Treat me as uh, treat me the same as someone who used a cursed stone to kill someone. If anything, I should be thanking you for letting me go free until the, until this is all over. So thanks, Chief. You're gonna rot in jail, kid. <laughs> I was just thinking. I mean, they're giving you an out. I mean, you don't actually have to take it. Maybe it's more uh, doing the right thing. I guess it's more, it's more graceful to say no. I accept it, and so people will go. You know, choose to go leaning on you. No, than, that, that, that makes than sense. Be that forced sense. to, you know. What's up, nerd? Whoa, whoa! You didn't say anything about bringing the police. Sorry, but we don't have time to care about what you have to say <laughs> about us. What business do you have with this girl now that you've lost your curse stone? I'll tell you this is. For, I'll tell you this for free. I have her curse stone already. <laughs> hey. Piss ant. I don't have any ill intentions. D you know I can tell you're lying, right? I mean, come on. Exactly. I wanted to tell you that I want to help if you intend to resurrect Michio Shiraishi. That was my intention from the beginning when I received my curse stone. And that's why I took your curse stone. Man, can't be too careful. Besides, what connection do you have to Michio Shiraishi? M Ooh, we, uh... Um, hold my cards close to my head. Met once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Really? Because I think you heard the news about her death when it happened. Yeah, the moment it uh -huh. happened. Uh-huh. Met once? I see. Well, I'm sure it must have been painful for you, but... Do you think bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with your car? <laughs> what? <clears throat> I don't know what you I'm mean. sure that I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sweating literal bullets. It's tr time to break this guy down like an Ace Attorney character. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. If you don't know, I'll tell you. And then you'll let me answer you'll let you'll let me ask you some questions in return. <laughs> Did you just get your license recently? <laughs> We found a van with blood stains on it, you see. It's only a matter of time before we find out who the owner is. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Kiss me, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> I think this is an intimidation. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Michio Shiraishi? He's either gonna kiss me or bite my nose. Uh, only, whichever one happens first. Not only that, you killed someone with your curse stone, didn't you? Stop! Stay away from me! Hmm. <laughs> so, I smell the fear. Damn it! Okay, okay, I give up. See, I like this guy's personality. Absolute weakling when it comes to like the word game. Absolute loser. There's one, there's one in everyone. Like you know, like the ninth man in nine nine nine. The guy who's the, like oh the the I, uh... I devised a game. Fuck that! <laughs> <laughs> the easy target. <laughs> oh, it's all over for me. The guy who has no point in being in the story. Yep. Afterwards, Yutaro Namagaki gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio Shiraishi. Wow. 
There you go. He explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl he had in the car with him. <gasps> no! After hitting the school girl, he drove away and planned to wash the car in secret to destroy the evidence. But he became nervous and went back to the scene of the crime at the urging of his passenger. Oh my god! When they returned to the so when they returned to the scene, the female passenger went to check the victim alone while he sat panicking in the car. It sounds like you uh, realized something. When she returned, uh -huh. she told him people were unlikely to assume as a hit and run oh. as it looked similar to a suicide by jumping from a height. Afterwards, the pair parted ways and Yutaro dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. The two of them decided to keep it, keep the accident a secret. The next morning, Michio Shiraishi's body was discovered and luckily for them, her death was ruled a suicide. However, a darkness lingered within his heart. From that day on, the schoolgirl appeared before him, covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken, despite him in his dreams every night. It's like a Mike Flanagan story. Mm. Even when awake, he would seem a phantom, or he would see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing him all at all times. Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a number of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he'd done anymore and planned to turn himself in, but was stopped by the passenger from that night. It was then that he first heard rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. He thought that if he could resurrect the schoolgirl, that it would be like if the accident never happened. And with that, the darkness enshrouding his heart could be dissipated. From then on, he searched the areas associated with the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo every night. <laughs> he received the curse of the foot-washing mansion as a result. Finally, a pair of feet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my feet. It, what? <laughs> Sorry, got my hearing aid turned all the way down. <sighs> I see. That's right. I'm not a bad man. I wanted to turn myself in. It was that girl who tempted me. I see you've convinced these two girls that you're in that you're not a bad man <laughs> entirely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Calm down and listen, son. Oh, drop in the sun. Mm. You don't think you've done anything wrong. What would these girls think if they saw you run over that poor girl? <laughs> There's something I want to know. Do you know anything about a talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Hmm, so you don't know anything. In that case, what about that woman who was with you? Can you ask her? No. Oh. That's right. Everything is her fault in the first place. Guys, guys, under the bus, under the bus, guys, just like Michio in front of her, guy. in front of his car, that under may, the bus. That may not be exactly wrong. Just riding passenger in a car involved in an involuntary vehicular manslaughter isn't a crime in and of itself. Yeah, she's innocent. But according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if she took an article from the scene, she'd also be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? You have no intent on hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. Do what you want with her. It's time for her to face what she's done. Her name is Hayame Tono. Yep. She's an art student I met in town. Uh, what? Oh, God. An art student named Ayame Tono? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would there be in lying to you now? What, do you know her or something? She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I'd like to meet the parents who raised someone like that. Shut up! <laughs> What's that, Inspector Tsushima? <laughs> You're drenched in sweat. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! Damn it! Why? How could this happen? It's all connected, boss! Listen up! No. I'm taking this one with me down to the station for more questioning! You two go after the record of Vichy and Scroll, got that? Um, okay, we will. Come with me! <laughs> Whoa! Stop, 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 stop! Um... Should we be watching this? Let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Alright, battle mode. Alright. Got a couple more left to go. Let's do this. Having regained control of herself, Yako rejoins Mio on their search for the record of Fates Yen Scroll so that they can stop the curse however they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow!
All right, time to hit a dead end. Time to hit a dead end. Time to hit a dead end. We're gonna go ahead and suspend this chapter eventually because we don't have any leads. No 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 leads. By the way, I realized it's 4 p.m. It's getting closer to dusk. Yeah, it is. We're running out of time badly. I know we're supposed to be finding that record of fates in scroll thing, but. Hmm, it sure would be nice if we had more of a lead to work with. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline of that Onmyoji Seiman Tsujimikado to, te to today. <laughs> that was a word sandwich, and you got through it so well. Thank you. But he's not a legitimate descendant of his family, so the library doesn't have anything about it. Hmm, and since we've got nothing so far, we find ourselves uh, here. Hihaku Soap's the cleanest part of town. <laughs> So, <laughs> That's how they clean their building, is they um, just use their own soaps. It seems kind of uh, cost deficient. Yeah, so this is the Haihaku Soaps headquarters. So we're thinking that one of the higher ranking people here is most likely the mastermind. Chairwoman Yamamori, was it? Wait, are chairwomen higher ranking? Isn't that the most important person that accompany the president? Hmm, I'm not sure, but she's definitely an important person. Hmm, even if we're able to meet with her... What do we talk to, with her about? We can't just waltz in there and ask if she knows about the Yin Scroll out of nowhere. Sure we can. I'll lead. Da, 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 da. Excuse me, do you know da, about the Yin da, Scroll? Da, 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 da. Ba, la, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Da, 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 oh, da, is da, that da. your working style, Mio? It's the waltz! When I find myself out of options, I usually just jump right into the thick of it. Oh, she if you're scared, I don't mind going in by myself. Jump into the thick of it, head first into the door of Hihaku Soaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to take names and fuck bitches! <laughs> Wait, no, that's not- Everybody get down! <laughs> scared? As if. Think of me as your trusty bodyguard. I don't mind going big and taking a chance. Please don't punch any adults. Oh, yeah. There's the Yako I know. Yeah, hard ass. Awesome. Ooh, we are going in. Now, shall we? Mm hmm? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's give this a shot. No, 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 no. And so they gave it a shot. Um, excuse us. No, 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 no. Looks like we're out of luck. L looks like we're out of luck. Where's your apostrophe there, Mio? <laughs> Who knew you needed an appointment months in advance to meet a chairwoman? Are you checking me out, Yako? <laughs> this is a piece of gum in Mio's hair. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 Even the receptionist gave us the cold shoulder after realizing we just stood it. Maybe her private secretary would hear us out, but they seem to be out at the moment. Hmm. In that case... Covert. If Haku was no good, I don't know if we have any other options. How about surroundings, maybe? Is there anything we need to do for the surroundings? Oh, oh! We can actually turn all the way around. Ah! Would you stop that? Sorry, I need to smell your hair. <laughs> oh, Mio, what about that one guy? The one Inspector Sutsumi checked with. I forgot his name. Oh, right. Apparently he never heard from Nakagoshi. Not that we have a way of contacting him directly anyway. We just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau's messenger and hope it reaches him. He's always the one who contacts me. And even then, it's only instructions. Hmm. Well, I guess we're in a tight spot, then. <laughs> in which case, is waiting for her secretary the only thing we can do? Oh, boy. Yep, I think we're at a dead end. Slightly. There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. Oh. I wonder if something happened. Another murder? Must be. I've seen a few police officers and they look like they were on edge. I feel like something's going bad on Tetsuo's end. Uh-oh. Could Inspector Tsutsumi have let that Nijima escape and everyone scrambling to find him? <gasps> oh, I hope not. After all the effort we put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. Oh, shit. And the fact that Suspend popped up after we said that... Ah, oh, ...tells crap. me that's exactly what's happened. Ah, oh, crap! Yep, 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 yep. Well... Let's see how bad he's fucking things up, yeah? Where's his, uh... Oh, it should be up here. He's gone. Huh. Did we f Did we find everything? Or do we need to go... 
to the darkness, or maybe too much to handle? Maybe I didn't do too much to handle just right. Hold on. There we go. Got it. So we had to talk to, to one more thing we missed in this chapter about how Harue Shigima has a last resort, much like Ayame Tono does as well. Yeah, it's just a little bit of dialogue. I believe you talked to Richter after all of that. And, yeah, it's and, just... and then it just goes through. And, uh, oh dear. Well, it, uh, put us out of this chonky boy. Let's do a manhunt. Having learned the location of Nejima's hideout from Michio, let's go see where it is. Let's go! Time for an arrest. Time to go and arrest this fucking guy. Removes you to all bureaus. Officers have discovered the residence of paroled off offender Fumichika Nejima, currently wanted under suspicion of criminal threat. Suspect escaped his residence prior to officer's arrival and is now at large in Sumida City. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All bureaus are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. <laughs> Furthermore, suspect is believed to possess a weapon capable of causing large-scale casualties. Ooh. All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, remaining vigilant for signs of explosives and poison gas. Ooh. Yeah, get him. Because there's no such thing as, as curses, Mama said. <laughs> thing is, though, the guy like Tsutsumi, he knows exactly where he's gonna show up. Sorry, boss. I tracked down Nejima's safe house, but he legged it just before we got there. Not your fault. We should have known he'd be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we bag him. So anyway, about bagging the criminal... Yo, boy! I figured Nejima might show up. <laughs> Call it a hunch, but he used this place as a hideout 20 years ago. Well, fair enough, but will you even remember what we have to talk along? Remember what? Uh, oh, right, the hideout. What are we doing here? Remember that mugshot of Nejima we circulated? I think it was from when he got out on parole, but except for a few wrinkles, he looked like just like he did 20 years ago. Yeah, no idea how he kept up that weight on a prison diet. That's a stroke of luck, though, isn't it? It means he'll be easy to spot. You see, that's just something bothering me about that. We've gotten every officer in the area looking for him, but no one's seen a damn thing. Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong face? Yes. You may swim down, but you don't even have a huge achievement for all. Could he really have lost that much weight in just six months? Well, he must look different enough that no one recognized him when he was starting working at Komagata High. Good point. That means the photo we've got is useless. I know we do too, and we walked a while, but maybe we should talk again. Don't bother. It's only been a few minutes. Let's take a second to sit and think. Aye, aye, boss. Break time it is. Let's t let's uh, take a look at the nice surroundings. Yeah, this is, a, this is pretty. It's nice art. Looks like it's hand painted. Uh, we've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's finally t nice to finally stop and catch our breath. Breaks over. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. Is there anything uh, behind us? Uh, hey, boss. Hmm. I think I hear something coming from uh, uh from those bushes over there. Oh, boy. You sure it ain't the wind? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Hey, you. Let me ask you something. Ah, how can I help you two fine gents? <laughs> huh? Do I know you? I swear I've seen you somewhere before. Hello. Afraid you ain't gonna charm any anyone with that ti uh, tired old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Playing hard to get, eh? My mistake. Anyway, what's your business here? Nah, eh, just enjoying a moment to myself since I've got the day off. I like it here. It's peaceful. We're looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? Sounds like sounds like a lucky man, sir. To have a strapping gent like yourself after him. This one's business, not pleasure. I've dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You could try that again, boss boy. Sure, boy. I was even his wife a kid left shut him. Up, shut up, shut up. Jesus, Ariel. Enough, Ariel. You'll set him off. Uh, sorry to hear about that, sir. But if you glared at them like that all day, I can't say I blame him. <laughs> 
Oh, that's it. The guy I'm after used to laugh just like that. Are you sure you haven't seen him? No, no, sir! Don't know anyone like that, sir! Well, with a laugh like that, he must be bad to the bone. <laughs> He's a nasty piece of work, all right. But maybe he can still do the right thing. <laughs> you like to think so, eh? Ariel, call for backup. Uh, huh? You mean that's him? Called it! Crap. He's running away! Wait! I'll go after him. You get back up. Okay, I'm on it. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Fucking knew it! It's always the goddamn janitor! From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has been sighted in the former Yasuda Gardens and is fleeing towards Kamagata Bridge. Ariel, go the long way around. We'll trap him on the bridge. Got it. Here we go. Give it up, Ninjima. Ha ha. You're surrounded. There's no way out. The gun is pointing the wrong way. <laughs> Ariel, we're over here. <laughs> hey, now, you're really going to pull that thing on poor old me? When did the boys in blue get so trigger happy around unarmed civilians? Unarmed my ass. We know what curse your packing is capable of. We also know it can't do shit in daylight, so give it up and come quietly. <laughs> can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am? Some third rate amateur? Fourth rate. I'm a goddamn black magician. You're Japanese. Oh, like black man. Uh, okay, sorry. Like 2500 attack, 2100 defense. Oh, okay. No way! Can black magic really do that? Like hell it can, he's pulling that out of his ass. Black magic is from the west, and these curses are Japanese. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was up, he wouldn't have given us till dusk. Ooh, nice of you to take me at my word on that. Now that the UI is out of the picture, I'm shit out of options. Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to get you to give up. Careful now. I might just be desperate enough to try something. And the kid over there just might be desperate enough to shoot. Bit of a wild card, huh? I just really want to shoot him, boss! I just really want to shoot him! If you want to talk, I'll talk. But first, you gotta put that thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. Not a chance. Nope. Not a chance. If you got something to say, then say it. Your buddy's hands are shaking. If he squeezes the trigger a bit too hard, I'm done for. Makes things more exciting, don't you think? Eh, you two have lost your fucking minds. Alright, that's your threat. That massacre you told me about on the phone, did you mean it? Every word. Don't you worry. Soon you'll have the case of a lifetime. Oh yeah? And how are you gonna pull it off? Like I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. But I'll give you one thing for free. I never had to wait till sundown. I just wanted to make sure you'd really hate me for this. Pretty sure I hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need more hatred out of you. More, more, more! You still have a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> oh man, it was going so well. Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for what uh, what you really care about. Hope you like McRibs, because they're going away after this week. No! no! You should be quaking in your fucking boots. And the chicken sandwiches. No! Not the McChicken! That's not gonna happen. <laughs> She's got enough to worry about without your sorry ass getting in her hair. <laughs> now that's more like it. There's the face I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, so anyway. You have the curse stone for the one-sided reed. Of course I do. Take a look. Yoink! Yeah, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, all right. Oh, whoops. But I put it somewhere safe. Wouldn't want something to happen to it. How did you find out about the curse stones? They don't have anything to do with black magic. Someone else turned you onto them, didn't they? They puff. That puffed up Tita Araishi. Couldn't shut up about him. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts. All he had to do was act impressed. It still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses and black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. 
far as I'm concerned, they're just two ways of harnessing paranormal powers. You sure there isn't more to it? <laughs> All that matters is whether the power is the real deal. And the curse is very real, as you well know. The joke's on you, Nezima. Don't you know the one side of weed is a fake dwarfed in with the West? Oh, give it a rest. I've tested it myself. Do you use that, on, use that thing on people? Son of a bitch. When something this special falls into your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough not to get caught, at least. Let me guess. You're back to your old tricks. Attacking schoolgirls in the middle of the night. Oh, so you know about that, huh? One of the brats put up a fight. Yeah, Mio! Bought enough time for the other one to get away, so I went ahead and called it quits. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted way beforehand, but she pulled some kind of spirit bullshit on me. Mio! I would have gotten that little bitch eventually. I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. Hmm. If you think puzzling out my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it either way! I'll let you in on a secret. I could fuck up a good few hundred people right now if I wanted to. A few hundred? <clears throat> yeah, now you're getting it. I could kill any one of them at any time. Then I guess we've got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see? Seems a bit unfair. If you really can do that, why'd you even bother showing up in person last night? I wanted to make sure the curse worked, and I figured I need to clean up after. Oh. Oh my. What's it been, Nejima? Twenty years since you've been studying black magic? And now you're just giving it all up for eastern curses? I didn't have you down for a cheater. Nay hey now, black magic screwed me over first. Can't blame a man for going with the girl who can't meet his needs. Ew. Screwed you over how? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was the real point of the murders, wasn't it? <gasps> Must have been rough, putting in all that work for no payoff. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. So now you're trying again with the Rite of Resurrection, taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. Hmm. Tell me, Nejima. Who is it you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who is it you've spent 20 years chasing? Well... It's the mother of that baby, isn't it? Huh? You had a partner. And though you never put a ring on her, the two of you had a kid. But then she died. Maybe she got sick. Maybe she got into an accident. Either way, she left you and the kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Nejima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? I've seen for myself just how many folks are pinning their hopes on this rite of resurrection. And I can tell you this. It ain't natural, and it ain't gonna lead to anything good. So... If all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... <laughs> God, you're so fucking stupid! Huh? Is that really what you think? That's hilarious! You don't know a goddamn thing! What? Don't shoot! Don't Damn shoot! It. For a second there, I really thought you were gonna talk him down, boss! <laughs> Listen up, chump. I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What really happened? <laughs> you got half of it right. I did have a loving girl back once, sweet as could be. She knows what you went by, though I couldn't tell you if that was her real name. Don't know where she came from either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. But then she got sick, and just like that, she was gone. My guess is that it was the pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after that was a living hell. Until I found this grimoire in an old bookstore. 
A grimoire, huh? It told of a resurrection ritual, black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right. Not exactly. See? Who said the ritual didn't work? You said it yourself. Black magic screwed you over. Oh, it screwed me, all right. But it worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual doesn't bring the person back as they were when they died. It's more like reincarnation, rebirth. Rebirth? Ooh, wait. Oh no. Oh hell no. You mean that baby? Damn right. The resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. You've gotta be kidding me. You're telling me that wasn't her kid? Th that was her in the flesh? The hell I am! That little brat was not my Shino! Her mind was gone! She was totally helpless! She didn't even know who I was! Her warm arms, her gentle voice, gone, gone, gone! There wasn't a damn thing left of her! What the hell did you expect? She was a baby! <laughs> if you really cared about her, you would have grown some balls and acted like a father! No, fuck that! I snatched sacrifices off the street for her, chopped them into pieces for her, and that's what I get? A screaming little bundle of shit and piss? That wasn't my Shino! Give me back her softness! Give me back her warmth! Give her back to me! So you just left the baby to die? I knew you were scum, but you really are the lowest of the low. Look me in the eye and tell me that if your wife turned into a baby, you'd love her just the same. I would love her just the same. I'd dump her into a river just like I would. Just the same. Just, <laughs> just the same. Just like I did with my wife, yes. And not... How could I do that when I couldn't even be sure it was really her? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get that you're human garbage who doesn't care about anyone but himself. So now you're going after the rite of resurrection in the hopes you'll get luckier this time. Luck doesn't come into it. The rite really works. There's proof. And what happens if you get the same results? If your Shino comes back as a baby again? God! Shut up! Don't put that lie in my head! It'll work this time! It has to! Breaking him down, breaking him down. Breaking down! Okay, I'm good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still cool. I still got the upper hand. It doesn't matter. I'm through with black magic. Is that why you gave your grimoire to EY? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. Depends on who has that. You've seriously got your curse locked onto several hundred people. That's one hell of a curse stone you're packing. These things sure ain't me aren't made equal. And of course, you got the nasty one and all the shitty luck. <laughs> I'm told I pu pulled a good one. Told by who? Whoops, I said too much. <laughs> uh, I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. So Nejima's not the top of the pyramid. He's nope. not he's not the mastermind. He's he, he's another brick a in real, the pyramid. A, a nasty lieutenant in this pyramid scheme of death, but uh <laughs> Fine then. Keep your mouth shut. But I do know one thing. All that all that about being able to use your curse during the day, it's bullshit. It's just a bluff. No, oh, is that what you think? You're back to the wall and you still haven't used your curse. If you really could pull the plug any time, you would have done it by now. <laughs> now there's the Sitsumi I know. Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did. Huh? There should be a few new corpses around the city right about now. You sure you should be pointing guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did you... Hey, Ario! Get someone to check that out. Just don't take your eyes off Nejima. Aye, aye, boss. Hey, I need someone over here. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Get to earning that paycheck. If you don't see him soon, 
There'll be plenty more on the way. However, will you get out of this mess? The longer you keep me here, the more people die. That's blood on your hands. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Ha think what you like. You'll see soon enough. I saw someone in the crowd who should not be there. Oh, yeah. Alrighty then. Huh? I'll slit your throat, you little shit! Huh? What? What? The... Tw wait, stop! Don't actually shoot, you idiot! See you around, dumb fox! Shit, he jumped! <laughs> Ow! Damn it, after him! Don't let him get away! Who did he accidentally shoot? I hope it wasn't the girl we had to talk to who was in the crowd for some reason. Well, I got one word for you. Oops. Oops! From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect evaded officers at Komagata Bridge and fled, and currently remains at large. The time at which he threatened to carry out his attack is approaching. In response, we will call in reinforcements and widen the search perimeter beyond the immediate Sumida River area. Boss. Don't, boss. Boss. Boss, I fucked it. I'm, it's all my fault. If only I hadn't lost my nerve and opened fire. Enough. I told you already. It's on me. I should have told you to lower your weapon. Thinking that chasing him to the river would corner him was also a miscalculation. Sure, it's possible that right now, he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the river. Somehow I doubt things would be that easy. Do you think he really can kill hundreds of people? Who knows? Him saying he already used his curse turned out to be a bluff. Hard to believe he could kill hundreds at once, even with that, with, even with a cursed stone. But all we can do is pray that he was lying. Da, da. The condition for Nejima's cursed stone, the one-sided reed, was only later discovered. Kills by dismemberment, one whose face, address, name, age, occupation, and location all are, are all known by the curse bearer. Oh! And so, at sunset that day. Oh no! Out of 632 students enrolled at Komagata High School, oh! the 377 Whoa! each had one arm and one leg severed. One by one, in the order they appeared in the school register, they bled to death while screaming in agony. <laughs> Having no known cause, this atrocity terrified the public, resulting in widespread panic. <laughs> For long, God. fear and speculation plunged society into total chaos, and misinformation spread about the curses, you know, far and wide. A series of unrelated incidents broke out, unleashing pandemonium beyond all control. While it is uncertain whether Fumichika and Nejima intended things to go this far, Tetsuo Satsumi's daughter, Ayome Tono, was also killed by Nejima's curse shortly after. Oh, hey, I was right. And Tetsuo Tsutsumi, unable to bear the heavy responsibility or the people's blame, quit the police force and fled from the public eye. Oh, well, here's a bad ending. At the very least, Nejima's goal of driving <laughs> Tetsuo Tsutsumi to ruin could not have been more thoroughly achieved. <laughs> I win. Thus, with his rapturous satisfaction, the curtains close on... Paranormicide. Ending to Nejima's Reminiscence. Yeah, okay. That was awesome! Well, we certainly did that wrong, I'm, I'm certain. What do you mean? It was fine! Well, Nejima went on to use his enormous horde of soul drags for remains unclear. But according to later reports, Nejima devoted himself to his master, a woman called... Dun-dun! Lady Ashino. Ashino. Alright, we gotta get that better ending at least before we say goodbye for today. Okay! We got to, come on. Come on, come on. I can't, I can't imagine what to do differently, though. You, you were on the right track. You caught it. You did it. Oh, I did? Yeah, you did. Uh, after the conversation? Hi, I'm still here. Yes, you are still here. What's up? Oh, uh, talk to Erio. 
Hmm. Hi. Why are you here? Huh? What the? Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, back up, back up, back up. The hell is she doing here? Crap, our eyes just met! This is bad, real bad. Why'd she have to pick now of all times? Get out of here, damn it! Book it before he sees you! Ugh, but I need to ask her about Namagaki. Shit! Boss! Where are you where are you doing looking all where are you doing? Looking all over the place. Focus! Ha! Okay, damn it! Fuck! He's fast! Ayame, get away! Ah! <laughs> well, 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 Ayami Tono. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? Dad! Ayami! Don't you dare, you bastard! Get away from her! Get over here! Get over here! Ah! Get off! You're hurting me! <laughs> stay right here. <laughs> where you stay right where you are, or she dies. Hey, get back here! Make me! See you around, dumb fucks! Oh, taking her with you. Whoa! That piece of shit took Ayami hostage and ran off with her! Oh, I heard her. After him! We can't let him get away! Okay, it looks like he's in traffic, not actually jumping off a bridge. Ah, okay. From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has evaded capture at Komagata Bridge and remains at large. He is currently on the run with one female hostage. Hmm. I gotta say, boss. We really screwed them. <laughs> yeah, doesn't this seem worse? A little this bit. Is, yeah. This is what you're hey, supposed to do. At this least, seems worse. At least she's alive and not, you know, accidentally shot. Yeah, we did. We really screwed that one up. We screwed the pooch. We screwed the pooch on that one. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't swip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be all right. I hope so. Ooh. I can't believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? I called it. Yeah. We've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning, and she just shows up there. Boy, they taught. Why they twist the fight? Yeah, a bit too twisted of a twist for my liking. I think you need a breather, boss. You're not making sense. Stop twisting, twist, 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 ah! twist, 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 twist. Does this mean she was the one in the car with Namagaki? Yep. Uh, we don't know that uh, yet. Let's see what she has to say before we jump to. <laughs> yikes! Yikes! You sound tired, boss. That standoff might have done a number on you. Ooh! <laughs> Come on! Let's train yourself to meet oh. Mitsumami! Ma yeah, Mitsumami! That'll put a spring in your step! Yeah, that sounds good! Single tears. Some sugar down. might just be might be just what I need to get my brain working. Whoa, hold on, boss! Sounds like patrols just gotten a message. I'll go check it out. <laughs> sure thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. Please be good news. Please be good news. Please be good news! What? <laughs> Good news, boss! They found Nijima! No shit! What about the hostage? I don't know, they just said come quick! Hmm, that doesn't sound good. That almost sounds worse. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah! Ooh! -woo? <laughs> Damn it. Guess we'll find out when we get there! Oh. At 4.28pm, Fumichika Nejima, also known as Makoto Ashimiya, was discovered in the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. The body suffered 110 <laughs> distinct instances of blood force trauma, the case is being treated as a homicide. Yes! The Cursed Stone! The deceased possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post-mortem. Post the location of the deceased female hostage remains unclear. Please continue to pursue her as a person of interest. <laughs> she defended herself, so people could still be using their curse stones. Maybe if you're in, you're in close proximity. I guess. All right. Holy shit, well, that was awesome. Everything's kind of suspended for right now. This investigation is kind of not going anywhere. Which Except will be for... And we got to figure out where this is going to go. Mm -hmm. it's, that's going to lead to the conclusion. And, uh, they, so they're, and they're stuck, too. The 
darkness. So next time on Paranormasight, we're gonna be dedicating our time to whoever this is, and whatever this is, doing whatever we're doing, however we're doing it. Who knows what'll happen? See you next time. I'm back, bitches.